Let's take a quick look at how an SOR mechanical pressure switch works. It all starts when liquid or gaseous pressure moves a piston that in turn operates a switch. The process and its pressure are on one side of the piston and the switch is on the other. Add a spring so the piston can return to its original position when the pressure drops and you have a mechanical pressure switch. Pretty simple, huh? However, while early pressure switches were sound in principle, they didn't perform well because of some inherent problems. First of all, because the piston must travel a long distance, it subjects the sealing ring and the switch to considerable wear and leakage. SOR solved those problems in 1956 by using a non-moving or static O-ring and a diaphragm between the process and the piston head. The static O-ring and diaphragm keep the switch dry. For that matter, even the piston stays dry. And because the O-ring remains static at all times, it doesn't suffer the wear a moving part would. Let's review. Pressure moves the piston, which pushes against the diaphragm. A calibrated spring and area of piston determines how much pressure it takes to move the diaphragm. As the diaphragm moves, it flexes and presses against the switch. The switch activates to control whatever causes the pressure to build up, such as the addition of reactive chemicals to the mixture, amount of gas or liquid in the process container, and so on. When the pressure diminishes, the spring takes over and the piston returns to its original position.